What is up everybody, my name is Prophet, and today I have something much, much different. Um, this is more for the people that own an Alienware X51 or are looking to get an Alienware X51 and uh, want to see how it runs dying light, or honestly anything that's this graphics intensive. This game is very, very graphic intense, very graphic intensive, I can't even speak right now. Um, so I want to show you what I have setting wise. I have everything on high, which is the max for quality. Now I have it on uh, 1280, 720, so everything is on high. So basically everything is maxed out. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the campaign. Well, not all of it, but I'm just going to play a little bit of it and uh, show you guys how it runs on max out. So uh, let's go. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Harad. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! So basically through that whole um, intense ass, that's, that was pretty graphic intensive. And uh, basically through all of that, I averaged around 35 FPS. At one point it went up to 40 and uh, at the lowest 
30. So the lowest I got in that graphics intense fucking situation was 30 FPS. You pinch him. Oh. You're scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. 40 at max, 30 at lowest. He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Okay, so now we're Shit playing. In my head. Now we're playing, and I have 58 FPS, 61. So now we're playing. We're in this room. Of course, this room is a little less. Let's see if I look out this window here. Wow, 61. So that cutscene was intense, and it was, you know, averaging max 40. And uh, now we're in this house, and I'm getting 60 FPS. I'm very surprised. <laughs> I'm actually very, very surprised. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to show you guys anymore because there's going to be a playthrough on my channel. So this is basically all I wanted to do. <laughs> this is basically all I wanted to do was show you um, how well it runs it. So I'm getting 60 as I'm playing and uh, 40 at max in the cutscene. So um, at that, I'm going to leave you guys with this. If you want to watch the playthrough on my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and uh, do me a huge favor and leave a like. Um, it would be much, much appreciated, and stay tuned for the playthrough. It's going to be a co-op playthrough with my buddy, um, so it should be really, really good. Uh, so once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, I'm averaging 60 in here, so 60 FPS, and uh, the cutscene, 40. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, as always...